everyone and thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you are all well wherever you are in the world and thank you for coming over. So just before I get into our workwear video, I have taken a bit of time off. I took all last week off filming, which was so nice because I actually feel really ready to go. We moved house, um, I think it was maybe about four weeks ago now, and I felt like I hadn't really settled in and had a real chance to just get organized and have that week to just kind of breathe and kind of, yeah, just get everything sorted really. So I took last week off completely off filming um, to really concentrate on that. I've been selling so much on Depop. It's at Lydia Tomlinson. At the moment, I just ship uh, UK only, um, but you can go and check me out there because I've still got a few things up for sale. I just wanted to kind of do that so I can start afresh in the new house, new filming space. And now I actually feel so excited to kind of get back into it. It's September, it's new content, new season. And yeah, I'm just really looking forward to it now. I think sometimes with work, I'm sure you can relate to this, is that you just keep going and going and going. And it just kind of becomes a bit of a chore. So you just need that time away to really kind of invigorate yourself again. So that's what I've done. Now, just to note, I know a few of you mentioned last time about the sound on my previous video. So I apologize for any sound issues if there are any in this video. I think the reason being we're in a new room and it's quite a very, well, got very tall ceilings and it's quite echoey. And I think that explains the sound issues. We do have a really good mic, so it's, it's not that. So we're just trying to work on that and hopefully figure it out. So just bear with us whilst we kind of stumble our way through and hopefully find a good solution for it. Um, and in a new place, it's all about trial and error, even like the filming setup, working out where everything's going so it looks the best and sounds best. So just bear with us whilst we figure that out. Um, but thank you for letting me know in the comments. Uh, it's always good to know anything like that. So definitely kind of update me because I can't always tell on the devices I have. I think it depends on devices. So let's talk about the video. Workwear, capsule, wardrobe. So this is very much going to be kind of a non-seasonal capsule wardrobe for your workwear. Um, it's not really, it's, it's kind of like a neutral vibe. It's not summer related. Um, it's not wintery really. It's a bit of an in-between. Those pieces that you can kind of take all year round and make it work for your workwear wardrobe. So obviously it's September. I feel like there are a lot of people maybe going back to work back into the office after the pandemic and we haven't been wearing our work wear clothes. I never wear work wear clothes anyway because I work for myself and work from home. But I know that a lot of people are going back now. If you're a teacher, you'll be going back now. But not just that, I think with people working from home, it's a slow progression into the office and we can sometimes feel a bit lost, especially after the past year of just wearing casual house clothes. So I think a really good place to kind of springboard off into workwear um, is through a capsule wardrobe. And having those core basics, I'm not saying you need just these, um, you can add a few pieces of your own into it, of course. But I really think this essential group will carry you through a lot of different occasions and seasons. So looking forward to sharing these pieces with you. I'm going to kind of talk you through each piece individually, and then I think I might try and do a lookbook at the end. Um, we'll see how it works. I don't know how we're going to kind of fit it in with the edit yet, but there will be kind of multiple looks for each thing um, so that you can kind of get a feel of how to wear it in different ways. So yeah, if you are new here by the way and haven't subscribed yet, please take a little moment to just hit that subscribe button now. We've hit 200,000 subscribers, which is just crazy. It was about this time last year that I got 100,000. So it's really nice to now have just over 200,000. So I really appreciate every subscribe that I get. So if you could just do that now, if you haven't already and are liking my videos. So um, let's crack into it. So first we'll start with tops and I'm going to begin with this blue shirt that I've been wearing. So this is from Storettes and it actually is a set. It comes with a pair of shorts as well, but I think it works really nicely as a shirt by itself. I think because it's not too bulky and not got too much fabric, it just works really well to tuck into trousers. A classic blue striped shirt, in my opinion, is a real fail safe for your workwear wardrobe. It just lightens things up whilst also looking really smart and professional. Next 
is a really basic long sleeve round neck top. This is actually a t-shirt from Arquette, but I think any kind of top or blouse works really well. It's just a really simple piece for a slightly more casual office environment. It just acts as a basic to all your other pieces. You can layer it up with the blazer, with the trench coat, you could pop a jumper over the top of it as a layering piece or a cardigan, and you can put it with all different types of bottoms like trousers, long skirts, straight skirts, crop trousers. There are so many ways you can style a basic white t-shirt and I think a longer sleeve one looks a little bit more professional and formal as well. I couldn't do a capsule workwear video without talking about the classic white shirt. This for me is a staple piece, not just for workwear, but for all year round and for all different occasions as well. You can really dress a white shirt up and down. Not only does it look really professional, but it's just so easy to style. And again, a bit like the white t-shirt, there's so many things that you can wear it with and it'll instantly smarten up any outfit. This one is from Weekend and Beyond and I would really recommend this shirt. It's such beautiful quality and not see-through either, which is quite important when you're looking for a workwear shirt. So next is a collared knit and I chose a collared knit because I think they look quite smart and also I just think it provides something a little bit different to a normal round neck or v-neck knit. And what's great about a collared knit is that you can actually layer it up so as the weather does change you could pop a t-shirt under this and use it as a kind of layering piece over the top. It's hard to find knits that aren't too casual um, but still look chic and smart for work and I think this one is a great version. This is from Aunt and it will be linked in the description box. we just have a classic navy round neck knit. For me, this is just such a classic. You can't go wrong with navy. I think particularly for work where navy is such a chic color. And again, it goes with so many different things. And don't be afraid as well to pair your navy with black. It works so well and looks very Parisian chic. So we're going to move on to bottoms now. And I've only got three staple bottoms because I think they're much more flexible than tops. And so I'm starting here with a pair of black slouchy trousers. And I just think this is a slightly more modern version of the cigarette or straight leg trousers. And I thought I'd include these because I have another straight leg cropped pair to show you. So I wanted to go for something slightly different and show you how this kind of oversized style can work for workwear. I think it's a really great idea to belt it. Again, it just adds a little bit of structure and formality, but these also go with all different kinds of shoes and tops as well. And I think because they are slouchy in a slightly different style from the usual classic leg, they just make these black trousers a little bit more interesting. Next we have the pleated midi skirt. Again, a navy, just such a classic. This one is from Arquette, but I think they do these in different colors as well. I think any color would work, but I just think navy is such a timeless classic for your workwear capsule wardrobe. And this would definitely work in summer, worn with blues and whites and some lighter shades, but also worn in winter with blacks and greys. I could see this with some smart knee length boots, as well as different kinds of heels and loafers and even sandals if you're in a slightly more casual environment. And there are so many different tops that you can pair with a classic pleated skirt too. Then 
lastly for bottoms, we have the straight leg grey pants. Now these are one of my favourite pairs of trousers. You may have seen me bang on about them last year. They're from H&M. Now I don't think they do this exact shade still, but they do very similar colours in the same kind of style and I would highly recommend these. They're so affordable, they're easy to wash, they look great and they're really comfortable too. And again, grey just is a perfect workwear colour. You can make it work for all seasons, like the navy, you can brighten it up in the summer but also wear it with some darker tones going into winter too. So two all year round jackets that I think are great for workwear is a checked blazer. This one is from Zara, sadly from a few years ago so I can't link it now. But I think the check style is nice to bring in something a little bit different, some different shades but also it's still really classic, simple and goes with so much. I like to keep my outfits really simple and minimal but just adding this check pattern really lifts things up a little bit and provides something a bit more unique and unusual. And I think you'll find that something with a check can combine a lot of different colours in as well. we have the trench coat this of course as you know is a real staple of mine for any occasion any season this one is from Sana New York I always talk about their trench coats because they do such great ones but I think a trench coat for work looks really smart it's easy if you're commuting it can be worn in so many different ways a long trench coat works really well with a longer skirt as well as with trousers there are so many ways you can wear the trench and also because they're usually quite loose, you can fit a blazer and some layering underneath. have one dress to talk about for workwear and that is a white shirt dress. This one is from Giovanna London and I think if you are in a slightly warmer climate and you want to wear a dress, a shirt dress is definitely the way to go. They look really chic and smart and I think a white one looks more appropriate for work too and can go with a lot more. You can belt it, you can wear it with loafers, you can wear it with ballet flats, you can wear it with heels, you can pop the trench coat over the top of it for a little bit of warmth. It just goes with so many different things and is really easy to wear, still looks smart but also you can keep cool as well. First shoes I'm going to talk about are these low heeled court shoes. Now these are from Zara a couple of years ago now so I'll link some similar in the description box but anything with a little low heel I think the pointy toe works well because it looks quite smart and sophisticated and of course a closed toe as opposed to an open sandal looks a lot more professional too. And I think with them being black or maybe in a neutral shade, they just go with so much and really elevate your outfits. You could be wearing something quite basic, um, but it just makes it feel a little bit smarter.
Ballet flats are a real key for me. I just think they look so chic and smart. And they go with all different types of trousers as well, which is what's great about ballet flats. They look so chic just with some cigarette trousers or your slouchier trousers with skirts and wide leg trousers. And I just think they instantly elevate the outfit. These ones are from Chanel, but I'll link some more affordable alternatives as well. absolutely love loafers. I think they just are the ultimate in smart shoes and they instantly make any outfit look a little bit more professional and pulled together. These ones are my backless Gucci ones but there are so many alternatives out there. They don't necessarily have to be backless. I think for workwear a full loafer looks really really chic and goes with so many different types of trousers as well and I think they're the perfect in between weather kind of shoe. In terms of accessories, I'd opt for a structured bag. This one is from Pollen Paris. They do some really great bags. I think you could definitely find a workwear bag there if you're looking to invest a little bit. Something with structure that's not too big and not too small is perfect for workwear. It looks pulled together, sophisticated, and you're able to fit everything in to carry around through the day. And then of course I would have a belt. I've been wearing this one throughout the entire video. It's such a useful piece. This one is from Arquette. I think it's still available, but if it's not, I'll link something similar. But something like this, we probably all have a version in our wardrobes. And I quite like this slightly thinner style. I think it's less showy and looks a little bit more discreet for workwear. It just fits seamlessly in with all the pieces in this capsule wardrobe. I hope you liked that and I hope you liked the pieces that I showed. Um, let me know your kind of favourite pieces and looks below. We've got some great autumnally kind of content coming up. It is meant to be a heat wave this week in England, which is a bit bizarre, but I think we're all kind of planning for the season ahead as well. So yeah, some great things coming up. But if you do have any suggestions, please feel free to let me know in the comments box below. Um, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Um, Instagram is at Lydia Jane Tomlinson and there will be a direct link to it in the description box. And um, basically there's 
so much more fashion styling content over there again i took a week off doing kind of reels but i'm kind of back with a bang now and i've got lots um, of good styling short reels to put up on there so uh thanks again and i'll see you in my next one bye